Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will understand data sampler widget in Orange. So for this we will go on the canvas of Orange. We will activate the file widget. Just click on it. Now double click on it. You can browse your own data set from here or you can activate the sample data sets from browse documentation data sets. Click on it. Activate iris.tab open. So here it will display the name of the variables, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width and iris. Now the next widget which we have to activate is data sampler. Click on it and connect it. The data sampler widget implements several data sampling methods. Double click on it. The methods available are fixed proportion of data, fixed sample size, cross validation and bootstrapping. To understand how data sampler is working, we will activate two data table. Click here. Again click here. Connect the data sampler with the data table and this one with data table 1. Now why these two data tables are required, let's understand. When you will do the sampling, it's quite likely possible that there are some instances which are selected. So this will go in the top table. That is the instances selected during the sampling and the instances which are not selected in the sampling will go in the bottom table. So we will name these tables as the in sample and this as out sample. Now how we can rename it? Click on it, right click, rename and give the name in sample. Enter. Click here, right click, rename, give the name out sample. Now, double click on it. In at present, in both of uh, both the tables, you will see 150 observations. Click here also. So it is 150 observations. Just see. Now we will go in data sampler. And we will start with the first method, fixed proportion of the data. So we will select 70%. So it will return a selected percentage of the entire data. I will bring this at 70. So just here, one input is 150, output is 150. Click here. And here 150 okay now what you will do press sample the data so 150 105 now on the top it's a in sample so 105 will be displayed double click on it and just see at the bottom done 105 has been displayed but in this case you will have to change this data sample to the data double click on it the edit links will appear. Now what you will do, you will connect remaining data with the data, click OK and double click on it. Before we proceed further, let's understand. 150 are the, is the total instances. 105 got selected. So 45 are the remaining. So in out sample, 45 should be displayed. Yes, 45 is displayed. Okay, so this is the first method, 70 percentage. Now we will go for the second method, fixed sample size. Only 10 instances are, uh, only 10 instances are selected. So it returns a selected number of data instances with a chance to set the sample width replacement, which always samples from the entire data set. At present, keep the things as it is and just see sample data. So it means that out of 150, 10 have entered into in sample and remaining 140 are in out sample. Let's check in sample, 10, perfect. And in remaining data, it should be 140, perfect. The next method is cross validation. So it, parties, it partitions the data instances into the specified number of complementary subsets following a typical validation scheme. 
all subsets except the one selected by the user are output as a data sample and the selected subset goes to the remaining data. Number of subsets are 10, unused subset is 1, sample the data 150 and 135. So sample the data 150 and 135, click here. So here it should be 135 and how much is remaining 15. 15. Now how we got this figure, let's understand. See, we are having 150 total number of instances, 10 subsets. So 150 divided by 10. So it will be the number is 15. 15 into 9 is how much? 135. And left out is 1. So 15 into 1, you got it here as 15. Again, one more method is available, bootstrapping, sample the data. So the bootstrapping can also be done. So this was all about data sampler widget in Orange. For more videos on data mining using Orange, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social medias. Link given in the description box.